What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial on this series. Uh, first of all I want to apologize uh, for uh, being uh, away so long. Uh, basically I was in uni and then um, I just started my holidays like a month ago. And I've just been, uh, I don't know, relaxing and resting. But uh, now I feel like I want to get back in and continue recording. And again apologize for uh, keeping you guys waiting so long. And also, the comments reminded me that um, the link in the first video of the, this project is down, so I'm going to be uploading it again, and I will leave a link in this video, and I will update uh, the old link. So, in the last video, I just got uh, to watch the end, and I said that I was going to work on improving the round system, because right now, uh, if you play, all the zombies that are supposed to spawn in that round are going to spawn, but they will come in, in um, they're gonna spawn all at once and we want to give light a little voice because we don't want 80 zombies on our game at um, the current time because that's going to uh, slow down performance and increase the difficulty so we want to each round have specific waves to let's say we want to spawn 20 zombies in that wave so we're gonna do a 5 wave of zombies then a 10 wave then we'll spawn uh, the other 5 so we kind of divide the wave, so we will um, uh, have a better performance and keep the difficult the difficulty of the game balanced. And as the round progress, so let's say we get to round ten, we're going to um, basically sp each wave is going to have like thirty zombies, and then in the fifth wave we only gonna have like ten at a time. So the difficulty of each wave will increase with the rounds. And that will um, kind of keep the balance uh, in the game. But that's what I'm going to do. But first, I want to have a way to display on our screen how many zombies we have uh, currently, how many we are supposed to kill, and in which round we are. So I'm going to create um, a new widget really quick. So I'm going to go into widgets, and I'm going to create a new user interface widget blueprint. Call it. Um, I don't know, display uh, round info. Gonna double click that open. Just gonna close this tab so we don't really need it right now. So, what I want, um, let's say I want to have a vertical box. I'm going to adjust it to be full screen. Going to reset the size. I'm just going to start and drop some text. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this to 18. And these are going to display the, um, the current wave. So I'm just going to say like 1. For example, and I'm going to add the padding. That uh, I'm going to need to make this a variable, and I'm going to call this the current wave text. Actually, we don't. Uh, let's just uncheck that because we're going to override it with a bind a little bit later on. So I'm going to duplicate this text. So Control C, Control V. And over here I'm going to go and remove our top padding. Remove, uh, change it to 25. This is going to say the total zombies to kill. let's say 50 for example 50 not 5 actually uh, maybe to make this simple I'm going to just display um, I don't know zombies left to kill Maybe that's easier. 
and I'm going to actually add another one and I'm going to call this so zombies I'm just gonna call zombies alive so this is going to display how many zombies are in the game at that specific moment so I'm just gonna say 5 for example and then I'm just gonna leave this uh, widget blueprint for now because we want to uh, get the variables of um, where are we going to get this info so I'm going to get this from our PC gameplay so uh, if you download the, the project in the beginning you're gonna have this there uh, basically I just um, created a new uh, new event when I initialize the game I'm going to run the timer every second that is going to check um, how many zombies first of all we're gonna get the number of players and from there we're gonna get our current wave and multiply that so this is basically a difficulty modifier from how many zombies are going to be in I just multiply that by a uh, number four and that is going to give us the zombies to spawn during the run so this is going to be the total zombies and I'm just gonna do a for loop and first of all I'm going to check if the zombies to spawn during round uh, is bigger or equal to the zombies spawned in the round so if this is true uh, that means that we have zombies to spawn and I'm going to add a plus one to the zombie spawning round for each loop and then I'm going to spawn a zombie character at a given uh, spawn location and then uh, at the end of each loop I'm going to check if all the zombies are dead if they are I'm going to advance to the next round that's basically uh, just increment and set the zombie spawning round to zero so we reset uh, this variable uh, this one sorry so but what happens when we do this is that all the zombies spawn at once so I have a zombies alive variable am I using this variable let me just check set zombies variable so okay basically this variable uh, checks if all the zombies are dead and this variable is going to be updating every second so basically we can use this variable on our widget so I'm just going to go into our widget go to the zombies alive actually no let me just figure out um, first of all I'm going to set up how to do the round the, the little waves each round and then I'm going to set the widget uh, it's going to be easier so what I want here I want to kind of uh, limit how many zombies there are spawned there so if all of this is true uh, we want to create a new variable and that new variable is going to be uh, zombies um, so max zombies Or max zombies can spawn. Okay, so this variable is going to tell us um, the max zombies that can be spawned uh, at the same time. So I'm going to make this by default, I don't know, uh, to 5, I guess. And um, going to drag this in I'm gonna need to get a variable to know how many zombies there are so I'm just going to uh, create a new function um, zombies spawn uh, so I'm gonna make it pure and I'm going to basically return an integer all the zombies spawned and this variable is basically going to give us the zombies that are spawned at the current moment so I'm just gonna get all actors of class 
of the typed zombie character. And I'm basically going to get the length and return it. That should be enough, if I believe so. I'm going to get zombie spawned. And I'm going to get another branch. If this is true, we're going to check if the zombie spawned. is smaller or equal to the max zombies that can spawn and if that is true we are allowed it actually no we want to do this if it's smaller we will allow to spawn another one so I'm gonna make that true so as we kill zombies uh, this variable uh, will decrease and new zombies will be allowed to spawn and now the only thing that we need is to kind of update this variable um, to be set to a value that um, increases the difficulty over the rounds so basically we're gonna do it I guess we can do it here when we get the current wave actually we can do it when we advance to the next round we're gonna get um, our current wave and I guess the max zombies that can spawn we're gonna get uh, I guess we can multiply by the round I'm trying to delete it, it's not working why? okay I'm just going to delete it here, okay so I'm gonna try and find a value that I can multiply uh, let's say for example, um, I don't know, we're going to multiply the wave by, so let's imagine if we're on wave 10, if we multiply this by 2, we're going to have 20 zombies in each wave, that's probably a little bit too much, I mean, not really, if we're on wave 10, You know what, I'm going to multiply this by 2, but I am going to clamp this integer to a minimum of 5 and to a max of 20. So imagine that we are in wave 1, 1 multiplied by 2 is going to be 2, but uh, we're not going to allow that. We're going to have always a minimum of 5 zombies per round and on the max a 20 zombies uh, per wave, sorry, not per round and a max of 20, so imagine that we are on wave 20, 20 multiplied by 2 is going to go 40, that's too many zombies for performance and stuff, so we're going to max that to 20. So the only thing that we have left to do is set our max zombies that can spawn, there you go, compile and save, and now I think if we play so we have three uh, people so I'm just gonna go and ready up no oh, sorry I misclicked okay this one is ready this one is ready so we can start so now we should have only a couple of zombies spawning so it should be five zombies spawning so there's four over here and really got another one spawning here you go but as you can see the zombies are getting limited obviously we are uh, normally not allowed to walk around where the players spawn so that's why we are seeing the zombies spawning, but that should not happen if we limit the play area and get the, the place where the zombies spawn outside. But as you can see here, for the first round is very good. So the zombies basically spawn outside and uh, on specific waves. So but a better way to do this, or to see this, if we set up the widget. But um, guys, I'm going to have to talk to you about this. Because I'm away and now I'm at home, I'm not in uni anymore. 
the internet where I live um, is very bad, so I'm, I gotta keep the videos short so I can upload them and actually have to upload the project. That's gonna take a long time. So I'm going to try and separate the videos um, in little time, but um, I should be able to upload more times. So I'm gonna try and upload every day if I can. Uh, I'm not promising. But yeah, I'm very happy to be back and thank you guys so much for watching and for waiting. Uh, some of you guys have been leaving some good comments to me and I appreciate that. So thank you so much. I'm gonna leave it here. Next video we're going to um, set up this widget so we can see the um, the the wave info and probably we're going to find a way to I don't know limit the play area and kind of you know start having a game as it as it's supposed to be. So yeah, um, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.